Okay. All right, guys. So welcome back. Um, this is what we are doing today. This really cool little formation. Um, for this part, I have Ashley Benitez joining me. Say hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Or, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, so this is what we are making, right? If you notice, it's a very interesting shape because it's got so many symmetries. Um, you turn it around and it's kind of like an animal, right? And so Ashley is going to help me put together. Let's go over the materials. Uh, what you need are, I'm going to put this on the side. What you need are two standard pieces of paper. Um, the size actually doesn't matter too much. Uh, you need a pencil to make some markings. You need some scissors to cut your paper. Um, you need your two hands and ten fingers. You could conceivably do it with two hands and four fingers if you can pinch. Oh. Great. All right. Uh, the reason I have a green and red marker here, you do not actually need them, but in order for you to see the folds, we're going to mark our paper so that you can see them clearly. That's smart. Fair enough, right? All right. Yeah. So let's get started. We're taking this. We are marking the pencil. <laughs> All right, and now we are cutting it. We don't need the pencil anymore. There you go that. Sisters, go for it. Oh, Excellent. yeah. Very good. So now we have a perfectly square piece of paper. The actual size of the paper doesn't really matter um, because you can make this shape with almost any size. But now we don't really need the scissors. So we can Great. Uh, so now we're going to start folding the paper and the way we're going to fold the paper is that we need to end up with four little squares on this side and four little squares on that side which means that we're going to fold it in half and then half again so you want to show them that? Sure. So just so that you guys at home or at your computer can see what it is that we are doing. I'm just going to outline the folds that she made. That's great. So I hope you guys can see that. What we're going to do now is we're going to take one of the sides and we're going to fold those squares in half yet again. Right? Great. So now, as you can see, you have a square that has four sections on one side and eight sections on the other. And so now, uh, if you notice, all of the folds that are green are sort of bent towards you, right? So they're sort of bent towards the camera. If you hold it up straight, um, everything's bendable this way. Uh, what we need to do next is we need to create some lines and then fold the paper the other way, backwards. And the way we're going to do that is like this. Let me make the marks first and then make the fold so that you can see what I am talking about. So this is what we are going to start with. Notice that all of the green lines will fold forward, but all of the red lines will fold backwards. So we'll turn the paper around and fold this way once. These are Ashley's favorite folds. And then we're going to fold it <laughs> this way, the other way. But only up to the end of the line. So that takes a little bit of precision. You're going to pinch it right at that point and... Perfect. See that? Perfect. And so now we have a fold this way. Um, and so let me show you what the pattern is. You actually replicate this cross all the way down this way and so there we go that is the first part of the pattern and so now i'm going to have ashley do the honors of folding oh this is fine and fold the more towards like Alright, excellent. So now as you guys noticed, we have a pattern going down in this direction. We're going to do something very similar in the next row. However, here is the trick. The trick is that we're going to offset the pattern by a one little square. As you guys can see, the pattern is almost the same except, except that it is shifted one square over. And so now we're going to fold those Wait, 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 
Okay. All right. Okay. Awesome. So as you guys can see, uh, every single red line is folded backwards. And so now I'm going to show you the pattern for the next part. The pattern for the third row it actually replicates the pattern from the first row. Fold. Great. And so now we are at the last place and in the last part we're going to replicate the pattern from the second. go so that is the final fold um, I want you to notice that again really emphasizing the green lines are folds that are towards you um, so every green line is folded towards you on that one that one right so it doesn't matter um, but the red lines have to be folded away from you and that's what Ashley was doing um, she was folding every single red line towards the back um, and so what happens next is that you have to collapse this whole entire page and fold everything onto itself um, it's kind of difficult to explain it uh, you actually have to just sort of get a feel for it um, and do it right and so naturally goes And there we go. We have a nice little formation. Ta da! Hi, I'm Ashley, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. This is what I made with my object. His name's Savitri. I don't know. <laughs> that was weird.